In this example, we're going to estimate the area under the curve between the values 1 and 9 of the function x cubed. We're going to do that with four right-hand rectangles. So as I'm constructing this, I want to go ahead and put in my interval 1 to 9. I want four rectangles on that interval. So I can go ahead and start by figuring out what delta x is. Delta x is my width. So that's going to be the bottom width for each of those rectangles. To get that width, I'm going to take the interval length, so 9 minus 1, divided by the number of rectangles. That's going to be 8 divided by 4, or 2. So this tells me that I'm going to go ahead and divide this into intervals of 2. So I'm going to go 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. These are right-hand rectangles. So as I look at the rectangles to come up with their height, the height is going to be the function value that's going to get me up to the curve. It's going to be f of x star. So that star just means the sample point. In this case, the sample point is the x, or the right hand side. So that's going to give me the height of each of these rectangles. So this first rectangle is going to look, well, I should say the last rectangle is going to look like that. So the height is going to be there at 9. And uh, let's see, the next one, this is going to be 7. So again, right-hand side rectangles at 5, same thing, right-hand side rectangle. And then at 3, same thing. So I can see that those heights turn out to be f of 3, 5, 7, and 9. So as I put this together, I'm going to figure out the area under each of these rectangles and then add them up. So my area is approximately the sum of the height times the width for each of these rectangles. And each of the rectangles are going to be sub i. And we're going to count. So there's four rectangles. i equals 1 to 4. Well, if I put this in terms of the Riemann sum, I still want i to count my rectangles. So this is going to be 1 to 4. My height is going to be the function value, so that gets me up to the curve. So f of x sub i star, and in this case, the star is the right-hand side. And then my width, my width is my delta x, so delta x. Let's continue to put some numbers into this Riemann sum so we can calculate our estimation using those rectangles. So f of x, f of x is my function x cubed. So this area is going to be approximated by the sum of those rectangles, i equals 1 to 4, f of x sub i. So that's going to be my x sub i cubed. I also want to figure out what that x sub i is. Let's go ahead and put that in red. So x sub i star. I'm not starting at 1. Instead, my first endpoint is going to be there at 3. So to figure these out, I'm going to do 1, and then I'm going to travel those widths or those delta x's. So 1 plus 1 delta x is going to get me to 3. 1 plus another delta x, so 1 plus 2 delta x's over here in my diagram is going to get me to 5. 1 plus 3 delta x's, and so on. So I want 1 plus these delta x's times i. That's going to go in right here. 1 plus delta x times i. I also have my delta x value, but I'm going to go ahead and put delta x in for now so you can see how this really is just nice and general. If you were looking at a formula, this would read a, it's the start of my interval, so a comma b is our interval length. This is the sum um, as i goes from 1 to 4. I'm continuing to put those values in here, 1 plus delta x, that's going to be 1 plus 2i cubed, because this is the cubed function, and then my delta x, that interval is 2, so times 2. Now I'm ready to put this right into my calculator. Before I get this into the calculator, if you are enjoying this video, please take a second to click like. I also encourage any comments or questions that you've got for me, go ahead and put those down below. Let's go ahead and continue. Let me clear what I've got here. I'm going to go into the math menu. The math menu is going to let me do a summation, which makes this so incredibly easy to do. So there it is. I go ahead and hit enter. 
and it gives me all of the parameters that I've got over on my workspace. Um, I do want I, you can call this K or whatever letter you want, but my index in this case is I. So I'm gonna go to my alpha key and then I'm gonna choose I. So I've got I is gonna range from one to four. I'm just gonna arrow to get to that four. Then I arrow over again now I'm gonna put everything that I've got from my workspace, but I've got two values in there that are being multiplied. So I want another set of parentheses here. So parentheses, one plus two I. So again, alpha and then my I. Um, parentheses, this is cubed, so to the third power. Arrow over to get down on that line, and then two. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and I get that estimated area of 2,448. Take a look at my other videos. I also have videos that will take you through the infinite sum that estimates the definite integral.